Hello. I am Andre and I will guide you through this video. It is not easy to choose the right loop as there are many things to know and decisions to take along the way. We will help you with this process. Let's start with some interesting facts concerning the health of dentists and hygienists. Pain in the neck and back is a huge problem for dental clinicians. Headache as well. Many times, we are working in a bad position all day long. So it is no surprise that most clinicians have back problems. Look at this study with 493 dental hygienists. Almost 7 out of 10 have musculoskeletal pain. This is too much. In over one third of cases this pain affected their work. Pain is the main problem, and in addition, we can just imagine the number of lost working days. Carpal tunnel syndrome is another major problem for dentists, but even more so for dental hygienists. The next slide will show you an interesting study, and of course there are many more. 493 dental hygienists took part in this study. They were asked about carpal tunnel syndrome. 7% had carpal tunnel syndrome, and as you know this is a huge problem. 63% experienced symptoms, meaning they could not work correctly. And of course some have to leave their profession. In fact, many dental hygienists leave their profession before retirement age because of health problems. Very impressive facts, right? We are now all motivated to learn more about how to see better and how to sit better. Let us get started. Here is the first important question to ask. Which is my experience with loops? We need to know the starting point. If you are looking for a first pair of loops, the most important thing is that they are going to be very easy to use so you will actually use them every day. So here are some questions to consider. What is the main reason why I am looking for loops? What kind of treatment do I do? Dental hygiene? Restorative work, surgery, endodontics? Have I tried loops before? Was it easy for me or difficult? Which magnification have I tried? There is one very important point to consider when we speak about vision. We normally think we see well, because we are used to our eyesight, to our vision quality. But we do not really know if we see details well or not. Some dental schools test the visual capability of students, a great idea. What they find is that about 1 in 10 students do not see well enough, but the students are not aware of this fact. You should definitely get your vision checked with an optician once a year. Why are you motivated to your first loops? Or better loops, maybe with higher magnification? We think there are four key points we should consider. The first point is obvious, to see better. The second, very important point is to reduce stress. Both dentists and dental hygienists have to work in a dark environment with shadows and on very small areas. This is really stressful. If you see a larger, clear and bright image, you can be a lot more relaxed. Third, having the light exactly in the axis of vision brings a lot of advantage, especially on molars, interproximally and in cavities. And finally, of course loops can improve your ergonomics. You will see a sharp image even if you are further away from the object. To get started, let's look at the basic types of optics. It is important to understand optics a little bit to be able to make a good choice. And you should know which different types of loops are available. Here you can see what we can call the small optics, and most loops are made with this type of optics, Galilean. We call these optics telescope. For the TTL loops you see here, the optics are precisely fixed in the carrier glasses. The optics are made of a number of lenses, around 5 pieces and allow a magnification of normally 2.5 times, 3 times or a maximum of 3.5 times. Please note that any Galilean optic over 3 times will lose some of the image quality, this is normal for this technology, and the same for any loop manufacturer. Unfortunately, not all manufacturers are honest. You may buy a 3.0 times loop and it could be less than 2.5 times. 
This is what we call the loop cheating factor. Good manufacturers try to give you a correct magnification with some tolerance, which is normal, but sometimes we are surprised about the huge difference between real magnification and magnification stated in the brochure. Prismatic optics give you the best clear image, better than Galilean. They are generally built for magnifications from 3.5 times and up. Prismatic optics contain a lot more pieces, maybe 20 or more, so they are larger, longer and heavier. And of course more expensive. Since good prismatic loops with good optics are always a bit heavy, you should choose a very comfortable frame which takes the weight from your nose. Some manufacturers offer optics which allow you to change the magnification. Theoretically, a great idea. However, these optics are normally very expensive and heavy. It may be better to get two loops instead, one with less magnification for most treatments, and another one with stronger magnification, for example for endodontics or veneer preparation. This way you get the advantages from both worlds. Here you can see a comparison of Galilean optics and prismatic optics. Most Galilean optics will be 2.5 or 3.0 magnification. Most prismatic optics will be 4.0 magnification, but some clinicians like even stronger optical power. Look at the yellow arrow and compare the field of 3.5 times for Galilean and prismatic optics. The Galilean field is dark at the outer borders. The prismatic optics offer a higher quality image from edge to edge of the field, even close to the borders. We have seen the two basic types of optics, Galilean and prismatic. Let us now look at some loop designs using these optics. Here you can see a flip-up Galilean loop. The PD, the pupillary distance between the eyes, can be adjusted for each user, so almost everyone can see well with these loops. It is a bit like a binocular you use when you are hiking in the mountains. However, the telescope optics are far away from the eye, not good, and these loops are heavier. For a day-to-day -day use, we believe that flip-up loops are not a good idea. This is a flip-up loop with prismatic optics, which are heavier than Galilean optics. Some dentists like these loops, but most prefer a lighter solution. Another option is the headband loop, here shown with the larger prismatic optics. Some dentists like this solution as the loops can be flipped up. However, most clinicians prefer loops made to measure, tailor-made. TTL loops means through the lens, in other words, the optics are inserted and glued into the carrier glasses. On the left you see the carrier glasses with a hole, on the right the final loop product. This type of TTL loop is probably the biggest seller worldwide, a sports frame with Galilean optics. For lower magnifications and if the eye distance of the user is symmetrical, these TTL loops can be prefabricated, but many are tailor-made. This TTL loop shows prismatic optics. Since the optics are inserted into the carrier glasses, they are closer to the eye which gives you a larger field of view, more comfort. According to our knowledge, almost all prismatic TTL loops are tailor-made today. For best ergonomics, the so-called ergo loops have prismatic optics and offer a very clear image. You can look around the corner and your position is more upright and ergonomic. So, from an ergonomic point of view, this solution is excellent, very close to an operating microscope. Please pay attention to one point, some of these loops force you into a totally upright position, ergonomically not ideal. In any case, you should consider a few points. 1. Your ability to move around the patient will be somewhat limited. 2. You absolutely must use a very good light because most of these ergo loops lose more light than conventional prismatic loops. 3. Depending on the manufacturer, the optics may be right in front of your eyes so you cannot look at your patient or your assistant anymore. So yes, there are some advantages, but you need to check carefully if these new ergo type loops are the best solution for you. Let's choose the perfect magnification for your needs. It is important to choose enough magnification, but not too much. When you increase the magnification, you can see more details, 
but you also have two important effects. 1. Your field of view gets smaller, you may not see the whole mouth anymore. 2. Your depth of view, where you can see a sharp image, gets smaller. This means you can move less towards and away from your patient. This is why you should choose enough magnification, but not too much. The next three slides will give you an idea of what you can see with your naked eye as compared to a magnification of 2.5 times or even 4.7 times. This is what you would roughly see with your naked eye. Note that for most people, the best image is a distance of about 30 centimeters. Of course, and now even more so with COVID, you do not want to be at 30 centimeters from the mouth of your patient. Loops will allow you to see a perfect image at a higher distance. This is what you see with about 2.5 times compared to your naked eye. 2.5 times magnification with a good light can be perfect for dental hygienists or young dentists. You will still have a very large field of view and see the whole mouth. Finally, this is roughly a 4.7 times magnification. This magnification can be good for endodontics or veneer preparation, for example. Note that the field of view will be smaller, as we will see in the next slide. With the naked eye, you have of course the largest field. A 3.5 Galilean optic will allow you to see almost the whole mouth. Most 3.5 time prismatic optics will have a little bit smaller field than a 3.5 Galilean optic. Finally, a 5.0 time prismatic optic has an even smaller field of view. There is one issue which is very important to consider, it is the quality of the loop manufacturer when you look at the magnification. Generally, no loop has exactly the magnification which is written on the loop, so a 2.5 times optic is not really a 2.5 times. Actually, this is normal as each loop is different and built with a number of optical lenses. Now the important part for you. An independent Swiss test lab tested loops from many manufacturers, and found that most loops were a lot weaker than written in the brochure. This means they are easy to use because the field is large, but you will not have the true magnification. We have already discussed optical quality a bit, and the fact that the real magnification of the loops should be close to the value given by the manufacturer. Besides the real magnification, there are a number of other factors which can be important. Remember, good optics will give you a clear crisp image. For optics of low quality, you may not be able to see the difference by simply comparing, but you will feel tired and maybe have a headache after a day of work. This is because your brain has to correct the errors all day long. You have probably never visited a loop manufacturer, right? To give you a small insight, the next video clip will show you an optical lab. In this case, the optician is doing a final check of the precise alignment of the optics. Let's have a look. I think by now we agree it is a good idea to invest into high quality loops. Even with the same magnification, top quality optics will allow you to see better and to enjoy better ergonomics as well. Here are some key factors we should consider. First, field of view. Second, depth of view. Third, resolution. And finally, brightness. Even at the same magnification, high-quality optics will allow you to have a larger field of view. This is especially important if you work in the whole mouth, like dental hygienists do. One advantage of loops is that we can choose the working distance where you can see a sharp image, for you to have a lot better ergonomic position. With high-quality optics, you will have more space to move in and out, this is a lot more comfortable during a long working day.
high-quality optics will have less optical errors and a better resolution, at the same magnification, you will be able to see more details. On the left side, the quality is like old PAL TV, on the right side you see higher resolution like HD TV. Every magnification, every optical lens will use up some light. If the design and quality of the optics is excellent, the loops will use less light and you will have a brighter image. This is even more important with higher magnification and especially for ergo type optical design. Obviously, it is very important that the loop manufacturer allows to add prescriptions. You need to check for your individual case which is the best solution. Before buying loops, you should get your eyes checked and get a new prescription. You can see in the red fields where we can add a correction. 1. No correction at all, if you do not need correction, or generally, if you use contact lenses. 2. Correction only in telescopes. If you have a very slight correction, this may be enough. For example, if you do not need to wear glasses to look at the computer or to take an instrument from the table. 3. Correction in telescopes and carrier glasses. This is like a new pair of glasses and a new loop. Let us have a quick look at the lights. When you magnify, you always have less light on the same field of vision, this is why the light is almost as important as the loop. Every loop should be used with a light. Having a light installed on the loop, it will follow where you are looking, for example interproximally or on molars. This is really the main advantage. On the left you see illumination with an overhead light, on the right, the much brighter loop light. Imagine the difference on the molars or interproximally. Here are some examples of lights, of course the choice depends on the manufacturer. On the left you see a smaller light with cable, this light can be good as a first light or for dental hygienists. In the middle you see a very powerful light with cable, this light would be good for stronger loops. On the right you can see a wireless light with no cables. Each light really has its specific advantages. The most important thing is generally speaking not which light, but to have a light on your loops. Here you can see a homogen light spot from a wireless light, in this example. A good light should have a high color rendering index or CRI, especially for aesthetic dentistry. On the left, CRI 90 gives you the real color and the optimum depth illumination. Modern LED lights have a very good color temperature which is close to sunlight, in a range of 5500 to 6000 Kelvin, roughly. Ideally, the light should be attached with a magnetic adapter so you can attach it and take it off easily. Now let's look at the fundament of all loops, the frame. Anyone who knows a lot about loops will tell you that the frame is the fundament of the loop. This is why you should try out the frame before you order a loop. Ideally, the manufacturer of the loop should also be the manufacturer of the frame. This way you can be sure the frame is suitable for loops and not just a simple frame normally used for glasses. In the next videos you will see different frames and loops, and we are testing them in terms of their stiffness. Simple, cheap metal frames, or simple sports protection frames like the one shown here from Adidas are not ideal for loops. In the video, we exaggerate the deformation, but in real life, even a small deformation will move your optical image. The first frame is a sports frame, the second frame is a real loop frame. Now let us look at the temples. The best temples are curved and work like a spring. And they wrap around the head. Then the frame will stay in the same position and not slide down on the nose. Since the frame is so important, you should definitely try it out. Ideally, the manufacturer should have a number of different frames to choose from. Now let us see why a loop should be light, but not too light. 
Of course a loop should be as light as possible. But, if a loop is too light, you should have a very close look before you buy. Here are some important points to consider. 1. A plastic frame can be good, but a cheap plastic frame has limits. 2. Thin, not stable carrier glasses are light of course. 3. Plastic optics are lighter than glass. 4. Small diameter optics are light but your field is limited. 5. Thin, not stable temples, can be very light. Actually you should test comfort first, and weight should come second. Hope you agree. Here you can see a comparison of telescope diameter. It is very easy to imagine how the field of view of the loops on the top will be a lot smaller, right? You will feel like in a castle looking out a very small window. The next slide will discuss materials. Generally, cheaper loops use cheap material. High quality loops use high quality materials. Have a look at this loop, as an example. 1. The centerpiece is aviation grade aluminium. 2. Rubber inserts are anallergenic, and molded not glued. 3. Temples are made of peak, this is the same material of EMS ultrasonic hand pieces. You know how much they cost. 4. Glass optics not plastic, and watertight. 5. Nose pad in anallergenic silicone. As you can see, you really have to look at the details when choosing a loop. Before we speak about ergonomics, let us discuss cleaning, disinfection and service very shortly. One important point is that the optics should be water resistant. You should check this point before you buy loops. If liquid gets inside the optics, you may not be able to use them anymore. So let us look at the key points for how to clean your loops. 1. The most important point is never to wipe your loops dry. Composite, calculus or other dry deposits on your loops can be very hard. Always moist your loop frame, carrier glasses and telescopes first. Then you can wipe off the liquid and use any tissue used to clean normal glasses. 2. Be careful with disinfectants. Of course no loop manufacturer can check all disinfectants. Univet has tested Sony Swiss S1, you will see the products on the next slide. 3. Be careful with too much liquid on your loops, especially if they are not watertight. Here you see Sony Swiss S1, there are two versions available. The surface spray, which can be used everywhere in the dental clinic, or the S1 wipes, which have the same application but with ready-to-go wipes. Now, let us have a quick look at service. Your loop should last 5, 7 or 10 years if you treat them well. Maybe the light may need a new battery or cable a bit earlier. So, you should think about long-term service and buy your loops from a company which has been around and is ideally not too far away. In the next section, we will be speaking about ergonomics. We all know how important ergonomics are, right? But do we take the time to assure our ergonomics are good, and do we take care of ourselves? Actually, once you start to study ergonomics a bit, you will find there is still a lot to be done. We believe ergonomics should be a more important part in professional education. If you would like to see more studies about ergonomics, you can of course search on PubMed and other platforms. Fact is, about 70% of dental professionals will have serious health problems as a consequence of bad ergonomics and other factors. Many will have to stop working for weeks or months, and some have to stop working completely. We are convinced, if you take care of yourself, the risk of serious injury can be greatly reduced. So let me ask you a question. Do you have neck or back pain today? If your answer is yes, you know you have to do something. Your answer is no. Then I have another question for you. Would you really like to have neck or back pain? Probably not. The best time to take care of yourself is when? Of course before you ever have a problem. Once you have pain, there is almost no way back. You should consider enough breaks, stretching, exercise and of course a good working position.
On the left you can see a bad working position, actually this position is natural because we see best at about 30 centimeters distance from the patient. Loops will allow you to have the position on the right, with a greater working distance, and you can see a sharp image. Here are some key points to observe, as you can see on the image. Shoulders should be relaxed, the back almost straight with the head tilted just slightly forward. A good chair and downward position of the legs allow good circulation. The same is valid for the arms, the angle you see should be 90 degrees or more. And, of course, the feet must be flat on the floor. To achieve a good working position, it is important that the loops stay in a comfortable range of the angle of declination. High quality loops with a frame made for loops will allow the manufacturer a perfect position of the optics and a perfect angle of declination. When we measure working distance, we are looking for the most comfortable position. Here, the position of the dental hygienist could be slightly more forward. It is best to measure with a patient, using the chair and dental unit. We measure from the corner of the eye to the mirror or tooth. Here step by step. 1. Get into the working position. 2. Move in and out to find the perfect position for yourself. 3. Measure three times and find a good average value. The working distance we measured here is 430 millimeters. We hope with these short tips and tricks you will find the perfect loops and ergonomic position. Remember your sport, your stretching or your yoga. We are almost at the end of this course. So it is time to wrap up the key points for you. What is the takeaway, besides the many details we have discussed? Let us suggest six key points. 1. With loops we will see better and sit better. 2. Good ergonomics will help us to stay healthy, and not live in pain. 3. We must choose magnification carefully. 4. Loops should have a light. 5. To invest in quality loops is a great idea. 6. Choose a loop partner you trust and who will be around in a few years. So what is next, what do we do now? Here is what we suggest. 1. Compare the loops available. Ask colleagues and look at references from experienced users. 2. Invest well, into a quality product. 3. Work on your ergonomics. This is time well invested. And finally, of course you can look for more courses on My Dental Expert. Enjoy your loops every day. Be well. Bye.